All right, first graders, we just got finished drawing our wild things faces onto our paper in pencil, and now we're ready to outline in black. To outline in black, we're gonna get a messy mat because we're gonna use permanent marker, and you might get a smaller marker from Mrs. Cleary, or you might get a bigger marker. Just kinda depends on how large you drew your face. If your face is small, you're definitely gonna wanna use a smaller marker so that you can see all those awesome details that you made. If you have bigger areas, you might be able to use one of the bigger markers. I am actually gonna use both, and I am going to outline this face as best as I can. I know that I am not perfect at outlining. So when I'm all done, I am going to use a pencil eraser and erase any pencil lines that I can still see. That just helps my work look really nice and neat. I didn't like the way that part of the eye looked, so I'm just making it look a little bit thicker. I'm going on top of my line. I like how that's thick and that's thin. I'm going to get this one to match it. So I start with a thin line, and then I'm just going to keep kind of coloring on that side to make it thicker. I would love if you could try to get some thick and thin lines on your project, too. What if the eyelashes did that? What if they were skinny at the end and thick right here? Oh, that looks much better. I love how that line changes from thin to thick. So I'm going to keep outlining, and when I'm finished, I'll come back. All right, I have pretty much finished outlining. There's a couple things I'm going to add. I'm going to add some shapes and textures in this nose. So what if I had some curved lines inside this nose? And maybe I'm going to curve some like a tic-tac-toe. That looks silly. I kind of like that added texture in there. So if you have spots that you could add some texture, maybe the teeth are going to have some lines, you can go ahead and do that as well. I'm going to make these eyes look silly and I'm going to give them some squiggle lines. So everything I've added right now is actually just lines. My finished example, I added some circles in the nose, I added some lines on the tongue, I added some lines in the eyes. So I would encourage you to try to add something else inside. Now, I'm going to take an eraser and I just see a couple pencil lines. I'm going to erase and then I'm ready for the paint. So at your tables, you will have the primary colors. And these are liquid watercolors. This is something new that we have not used this year. I'm going to have three brushes. One is going to stay just in red, one just in yellow, one just in blue. I am going to start with some red. And I am going to get my brush pretty wet, and I am going to put a nice area of red on top of the face. So I'm not painting on the face, I'm just putting it on top. So that looks good. This probably will not balance in here very well. You could put it in the empty cup, or just kind of set it on there, or set it on your messy mat. Because the next part, you need your straw. We're going to blow this paint up away from the face. So my straw is not gonna touch the paper, it's gonna sit on top of the paper just a little bit, and I'm gonna blow through the other end like I'm blowing out a birthday cake. And I kind of move my straw back and forth as I blow. Cool, I'm gonna try another color. So new paintbrush, clean one, is gonna go in the yellow, and I am Okay, so the yellow shape is on there. I'm gonna take my straw and I'm gonna blow and kind of move my straw back and forth. See where that yellow and red touched? I get an awesome blue. So, sorry, an awesome orange. I was ready for blue, that's why I said blue. I'm gonna add blue to my paper. Notice how I've used all three primary colors on the top. That way I'm gonna mix them as I blow and I'm gonna see some new colors. I see some green in there. 
I'm going to end with red on the top just because I have not seen purple yet. And I know that red and blue are going to make purple. So you can continue this around the top of the monster's head. It will look like hair. Some of you have a little more room on the sides that you could even get some paint on the sides. And this one, I had a lot of room at the bottom, so I kind of gave him a, at the bottom, so I gave him a body shape down there. You want to try to keep the splatters around the face. You don't want to cover up your awesome drawing. Once you have finished, you need to get this in the drawing rack. Throw away your straw. We don't want to share those. And then help to clean up the rest of your table. If you need to get a rag and wash your mat or your table, that would be very helpful.